today, I'm Rami. Today, I'm going to provide you a solution overview of SilverPeak's Unity Edge Connect platform. Edge Connect is an intelligent, application-driven, one-edge platform designed from the ground up to deliver software-defined one services to enhance user experience and, prove, and improve operational efficiencies in the branch office. If we look in the last few years, the application consumption model has changed quite a bit for a lot of customers. Applications are no longer sitting in the data center that now could be in the private and public cloud. So applications could be consumed from SaaS providers like Microsoft Office 365, Box, uh, Salesforce, and so on. They could be consumed from AWS, Azure as infrastructure as a service. Along with these trends, we've seen also an explosion in mobility, number of IT devices, and big data, where all needs to be processed at the edge. All these trends translated into a change and shift in the traffic pattern, the need for more bandwidth, and the use of broadband. Now, that created many challenges, and the challenges it created is in three buckets. The branch, the WAN, the applications. On the branch side, we've seen more complexity in the infrastructure because customers are trying to add more capabilities, more into their router that did not result in the outcome they're looking for. The process has still been manual, still complex, and it's not easy for them to stitch services, secure services, and apply them to these distributed applications. On the one side, also, it's been a big challenge for them. They usually have two or three links, and PLS, broadband, 4G, LTE. And a lot of times, these links are not, only, not all fully utilized because of design complexities. So it's only one link is active, the other links are sitting idle. And also, they're not, they could not get the visibility they can get end-to-end uh, -to, -end to troubleshoot, to come to a faster conclusion on the problems they may arise in their network. And the third bucket is around applications. Applications are distributed, and they're used in different links. They're trying to use different links from broadband, MPLS, 4G, LTE. So now they have inconsistency in terms of the performance and the availability of these applications. Let's take a look at the Edge Connect solution. Edge Connect is a business level intent, policy driven model. That means customers have resiliency requirements performance requirements, secure requirements, and so on. And you want to be able to define it from that level and drive it into your infrastructure. And you don't have to worry about the low-level network configuration. The solution consists of two components, the unit orchestrator and the devices that sit in the branch office. The unit orchestrator is a centralized management, single dashboard for deployments and ongoing operations. Unit orchestrator can be deployed on-premise, or it can be deployed in the cloud as a service. The advantage for customers deploying this as a service in the cloud is they can have now faster deployment of their branch offices because they don't have to worry about network configurations, security configurations, and so on. The other thing about Unit Orchestrator is the northbound API. Now they can connect with orchestrator tools like OpenStack, Adva and Blue Planet. So let's take a look, a closer look at how that works. So as a subject matter expert in your organization, that could be a network IT uh, admin, what you do is you define and create your policies in the business intent overlay template. And the policies you define here is from a business perspective, and this could be performance, That could be security. That could be resiliency, and so on. Once you define them, they get translated and implemented into your infrastructure once the device is being authenticated. The devices can be physical devices. They can be virtual. They can be cloud-based. On the physical side, they can be ultra-small, extra-large. On the virtual side, they are a VM that can be deployed in VMware environment, Microsoft um, environment, and they can be part of your hyper-converged infrastructure. Cloud-based, you can deploy in AWS, 
Azure as infrastructure as a service. Now the beauty about this whole thing is now I can build a what's called a unity fabric that gives you consistency in the policy and end-to-end -end visibility. So once I deploy and I push these requirements, I have now consistent policies applied to each of these devices, whether they are physical, virtual, or in the cloud. The other thing is, once you define this business intent overlays, now you, we create virtual WAN overlays. And these virtual WAN overlays, they could be defined based on what you set here. You could have defined things for your real-time apps, like voice over IP, or something for your critical apps, or it could be something for your IoT traffic, or maybe your guest Wi-Fi. And these overlays are secure and optimized and provide micro-segmentations. And what that helps is in the preventing surface attacks. So if you have any surface attacks on specific applications, that's not going to bleed into the other uh, virtual overlays. The other two aspects about the solution is predictable performance over any transport and simplified security no matter where the application resides. So let's take a look first at the performance. There are four components that we provide that it's built in into the Edge Connect providing that predictability. So on the performance side, these components are the, the forward error correction and the packet order correction. So if there's any lost packets or packets received out of order, we correct for that automatically. The other component is the tunnel bonding. And with that, we can bond two links. There could be MPLS, internet, and now you can load balance traffic among these links. The third component is internet breakout. What we do with that is, as these branch offices trying to reach these different applications, you want to be able to reach these applications in the most efficient way. For example, if I want to reach my SaaS application, I don't want to backhaul to my headquarter and then reach to the SaaS. So with Internet Breakout, we have a feature or capability called First Packet IQ. So now I'm able to classify applications on the first packet and send that dynamically and intelligently on an app-by-app -app basis to its destination. The fourth component is WAN optimization. So we enable this on an application branch basis for applications that are sensitive to latency. The other aspect is around security. So with security, we have two components that is key to simplify pushing the policies to these distributed applications. So the first thing is in the simplified service chaining. So we have verified our solution to work with next generation firewall companies like Palo Alto Networks, uh, Fortinet, Checkpoints, as well as cloud-based gateways where now you can simply do a drag and drop from the business intent overlay for securing that specific application. The other component is about securing application is the built-in stateful firewall. And with that, if I'm trying to reach SaaS applications, that these are trusted, now I have built-in stateful firewall for inspecting packets as they come in and trying to enter the branch office. I encourage you to click here to watch more of these SD-WAN videos. Thank you for watching.